Welcome back to Houston Life. Did you ever get in trouble doodling in class? Yes. Maybe some of us. That's what happened to our next guest. But his story has a surprise ending. Absolutely. Willie Clouds was doodling in school and got caught by his teacher. And he thought he was taking him to the principal's office. But the teacher actually walked him into an art class. And now Willie is an artist. But not just any artist. He paints with bleach. Willie, welcome to Houston Life. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Painting with bleach seems like a tricky thing to do. Yes, it is. How in the world did you get bleach from doodling in class? Well, like I said, I was doodling and the teacher caught me and I, knowing they knew my mom, so I thought they was gonna take me to the principal office and obviously tell my mom, but he took me to the art teacher. And uh, I signed up for art and uh, ended up submitting a, a painting and won first place at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. And never took any professional art, but uh, like I just kept it as a hobby. And many artists, their styles evolve over time. Clearly, you have uh, a very specific look here. Um, this is something that you're passionate about. How? What has the response been like from your customers? Uh, people love it. People, you know, they they see a difference. People want to be different. Um, that's what society basically is looking for to be different, be the next, you know, look what I'm wearing. So a lot of people love the way, you know, and I do custom designs. So whatever you design or you tell me you want, I try to put it on a t-shirt or pants or what have you. We were just briefly chatting about the difference between bleach and paint. When you're spraying it out, you can't see where you're spraying, so you don't get kind of a little cheat as to where your bleach is going. Right, right. I don't get to, uh, when I'm airbrushing it on, I don't get to see where it's going until the shirt starts, the fabric starts to change colors. Um, but sometimes I mess up, but it comes out, hey, great. People like it. I like it. Unique. So, and yeah. trial and error, I'm sure, is involved. Uh, so once you have freehanded an item, airbrushing, stenciling, your process varies depending on what you're doing, right? Yes. Uh, basically, I start out freehanding. Sometimes I stencil. Uh, like the uh, Astros, I uh, freehand that. So I'll freehand, go over with, draw with the bleach, then I sterilize it with uh, peroxide and water, dip the uh, fabric in it, and then wash it, and then bring it out and act my colors that I so desire. And voila. Yeah, it's amazing. What a process and what a talent. Thank you so much yeah. for stopping by and showing off your pieces. I appreciate you for having me. Absolutely. Yeah, really well, Thanks so much. If you would like to connect with Willie and order a piece of his art, we have got a link up on our website at HoustonLife.tv and a link to your Instagram page as well.